We've taken every precaution that we can to ensure they're safe. For those choosing to vote in person, either early voting or waiting for Tuesday, every procedure has been changed for safety's sake. Supplies for each of 80 precincts gathered and ready to go. So now they're not touching anything that another voter touched. And that was the key to our safety. Early voting started last Saturday and the early numbers were rather small. But Anderson's seen those numbers come up in the last couple of days. He believes that as word is spread about the safety protocols in place, people are feeling a lot more comfortable about voting in person. The last two days we've seen a steady increase. So now the mail ballot early voting ratio gap is closing. So far 30,000 people have voted by mail in Seminole County compared to 6,000 in person. Except he's seen a good number of mail ballots not coming in the mail at all. They're bypassing the mailbox and bringing them directly to the drop off box at our early voting stations. And he says since early voting started, it's been a growing trend. One night we had about 600 come in by mail but we had 1,300 that came in through the early early voting drop-off box. He suspects people are just leery of the ballot arriving in time when mailed, and he reminds anyone who has mailed their ballot in, they can check it online to make sure it's in and ready to be counted. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.